Welcome back to the next Kitten Space Agency pre-alpha gameplay video. This time we are going to the moon as requested by many of your comments and we are doing something special. Stay tuned. Let's go to the map view. We are in orbit around Earth. That's where the game starts, right? We then want to go to Luna. So, what we are going to do is we just select it here and then we press F4. So, we go with our rocket to Luna, obviously. Set Luna as the target. Now we can calculate stuff and then we can create the node. And as you can see, we now have a good enough encounter in... 52 days we have to go but as i said we want to do something special we want to do a pre-return trajectory that means we just do our ejection burn our transfer burn and then we do nothing more the moon will just with its gravity help us get back to earth without us doing anything let's see if we can do that here did it multiple times in ksp also in Juno, but let's see if we can do it here. I guess it will be the first. A world first of a free return trajectory to the moon. We select our maneuver and then we need to get our periapsis behind the moon. We capture in front of the moon, we go back behind it and then we escape there. Our light path is doing interesting things already coming here. We need to get as close as possible. Okay, so we have a burn for 3140 delta V. We can warp to our maneuver. We can arm the burn, which I guess will just use RCS to point correctly. We could delete it and we could just do some time warp. Thingies. I think we will first now hit arm burn. And I have to do nothing for now. It will do it when we get to the point, I guess. Now that we are all dizzy, we can finally go to the moon. Ah, see, that worked already. Nice, look at that. Ah, the camera movement when we go to a, an escape trajectory. RCS correcting a bit. And breaking, orienting, nice. Okay, let's see where this got us. We have a periapsis of, come on, tell me the periapsis. It just will not tell me the periapsis. <laughs> what hardware are we running? We are running on a pretty beefy CPU. That is the 9950X3D, so the best Ryzen that you can consumer Ryzen that you can buy but the graphics card is a bit dated it's the RTX 3070 with 8 gig but as you can see in map view and almost everywhere else 60 FPS no problem oh, we should be approximately 400 kilometers above the surface Yee! there we go Periapsis, 2000 kilometers. That's too high. Let's get that down a bit. Let's turn retrograde. Here we are. 
So we are trying to get our periapsis value, which is right now at 2000 kilometers, down to 400 kilometers. Let's see. We fire up the engine. How much it moves. Yeah, okay, that works. So what I already found out is that you can go to the map view. If I hit space right now in the map view, nothing's happening. But I can hit tap and it will trigger this control rocket. And then I can control the rocket from the map view. So see, now I have controls and everything. And now let's pay attention to this. Also visually here, note there's no sound apparently when you are in map view, which is confusing a bit. But yeah, you see, we are bending around. And we go to approximately 400. That's what the Apollo, Apollo missions did, if I remember correctly. That's how the free return trajectory works. While we go through here behind the man, its gravity should pull us in more. It will bend more the escape trajectory here, the escape vector. And that should bring us back to Earth. So there, the moon is coming in. Also, Dean, while you are here, I digged a bit into the game files. There is a music file in there. How, where do I trigger the music? <laughs> there is Earth in the background and the sun. Isn't that a nice, nice shot with the lens flare and everything? I want to see this moving. So let's time warp a fair bit. I am not seeing it moving. What is going on? We are still on the same escape vector. Shouldn't the G-Force have a reading? It's patch conics. It won't move. Ah, oh, so it's yeah, kind of pre-calculated, let's say. So the gravity of the moon will not affect my trajectory at all. Which also means that essentially a free return trajectory is not possible, I guess. Let's see. We get a bit closer. Just as close as we can get. We are at 400 right now. Let's get it down to 50 or something, or even less 20. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Look at that. Beautiful. We're going again to the dark side. Our earth on the left comes into view. Bye bye earth. Also, bye-bye, sun. Bye. Uh, we are at 80 kilometers now. I think we should see something by now. Right? If we don't see something yet, I do not have much hope. But we still have no G-Force affecting us. So, free return trajectory, not gonna happen, at least not on the moon. That was not so successful, first mission, unfortunately. Not so successful, I have to say. Our free return trajectory. So it turns out it is currently not possible yet, because the moon gravity is not in the physics model, in the simulation. So no free return trajectory as of now. I will attempt it again once the physics are there, promised. Now, see you in the next video, and if you like this kind of stuff and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye!